Blackhawks hosting the Capitals, and the Capitals are minus 195 on the money line. The Blackhawks are plus 162. The over-under is six goals. The Capitals laying a goal and a half are plus 130, while the Blackhawks getting a goal and a half are minus 155. The Capitals are on a four-game winning streak. The Blackhawks are on a three-game losing streak. The Capitals are 17 and 13 against the spread. The under is 18 and 11 in the games in which they've played, and they've kind of been meh on the road. They are 6, 8, 1, and 2 on the road this year. The Blackhawks are 13 and 13 against the spread. The over is 14 and 12 in the games in which they've played, and they are 4, 8, 0, and 2 at home. Head to head, the Blackhawks have won the last two games that they've played against the Capitals. The underdog is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half is 6-4 and four in their last 10. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two that they played against each other, which is ironic because it's the last two, and then the other two were games 9 and 10 way back in 2016. The over has hit in their last four games. The over is 7-0-3 and three in their last 10. The home team is seven and three, and the over six is six, two, and two. The last game that they played, the Blackhawks won five to four in overtime. The game before that, the Blackhawks won four to three in a shootout. The game before that, the Capitals won five to three on the road. The game before that, the Blackhawks won eight to five. So three out of four, the Blackhawks have won. The road team has kind of split it. I'm gonna take the Blackhawks with the money line, the Blackhawks getting the goals, and I'm gonna go over in this game and say what the hell and throw caution to the wind. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.